Are you looking for a fun game to play with your kids? This game is kind of like a dice game, but they actually give you these other little things, which makes it a little bit more fun for kids. And I want to talk to you guys about that today. First of all, hi. Hi to all the new dads out there. This is Dad Reviews. This is where I give you my unedited, hopefully more authentic look at the products that we like, use, and have, and games we play with our kids. So if you're interested in that, you might want to consider clicking that subscribe button. Uh, so our kids got this. I don't remember when they got this, where they got this, or who got it for them, but this is a fun game that we've just always had around, and it's super easy to play, but also it's really easy to take with you on like a road trip or out camping or just, in, you could literally take it in your pocket. So I want to talk to you guys about uh, this game today called, I'm trying to find the logo for it, the original game of Pass the Pigs. I don't know if y'all can see that right there. There we go. But it comes, it, it comes with these two little pigs. This is literally all you need to play the game. And like I said, it's kind of like a dice game. So you take the pigs and you roll them. So you roll them out. And however they land, you get certain points for how they land. So you will have to keep track of, uh, you have to remember uh, the different ways that they can land and how many points you get for them. It does come with this handy little instruction book. Look, there's a logo right there, past the pigs. Um, it does come with a, a little handy instruction of all the different ways that they can land and how many points you get. Uh, for how they land, but it's honestly it's fairly simple to remember. The other thing is that you want to keep track of the score as well. Basically the first person to 100 points wins. That's just what they say in the rules. You can make it higher or lower if you want to, but it does come with a little pad of paper here and you can write, you know, your initials on the top or your names and then you keep, keep tabs on what everybody's got here. So uh, the way this works is there are a few different uh, ways that you get points but depending on how the pigs land. And so right here, this would just be one point because they just landed on the sides. Now, if one were to land on one side with the dot up and the other one without the dot, that is a pig out. Whenever you get a pig out, you lose all your points and it's the other person's turn. So that's another interesting thing about this game is that you can roll as many times as you want to try and add up your score. You could get 100 on your first rolls without even letting the other person play unless you get a pig out. But if you do get that pig out, you're gonna lose all those points that you just accumulated. So you kinda wanna be a little bit more strategic. I usually say if I get like uh, 10 points or more, I usually, uh, I usually start to pass the pigs. Um, the next one that you can get is called the Leaning Jowler. And that's whenever the pig is on its nose and its front legs. If you get one of them in a leaning jowler, that's 15 points. But if you happen to get double, a double leaning jowler, <clears throat> that is worth 60 points right there. So that's, that's a top-notch prize right there. You want to get that. If you get one on all fours, that's called a trotter. You get five points for that. If you get two of them like that, double trotter, that's 20 points. Uh, the razorback is whenever they are on their backs. You get five points for one, and then you get uh, 20 points for a double. So kind of trotter and uh, razorback are pretty much the same. Uh, a snouter, that's whenever it's he's on his snout. Let me see, I'm trying to get him to get on there. If you get one, it's 10. And if you get two, it's 40. Those are a little bit easier to get. And then the, uh, the leaning jowler, because the leaning jowler like all, all over here on the ear and whatnot. You got to get the ear and the snout. Um, double Razorback, uh, we already did that one. Then we have the Double Snouter, which we just did. A uh, Pig Out, I already mentioned that. It's whenever you have one dot on one and not a dot on the other. A Cider is whenever you have either two dots showing or no dots showing. You just get one point for both. You don't get two points. Um, an Oinker, whenever you lose all your points, is if any of the two pigs are touching after you're done rolling. This happens very, very seldomly because they're made out of rubber, so they kind of bounce around a little bit, but if they do happen to be touching like that, you lose all your points and you have to start all over. And then the last one we've never gotten, and this is piggyback. It's whenever one is on top of the other, like so. And if that happens, you are out of the game, and rightfully so, because this is pretty much near impossible to get. Um, but I'm would assume that since they have it in the instructions, it has happened before. Now, if you do get a mixed combo, like let's say you get a Razorback and one leaning over, you do get the combo there. So this would be like 
five points right here and then one point for it being on its side. That's how we play. I don't know if you actually get one point because you're supposed to get two points. Uh, you're supposed to just get one point whenever both of them are laying down. But if you get like a Razorback and a Trotter, that'd be 10 points, five points each. Uh, and just like that. Now, apparently there is another way to play this game. I was looking at the directions uh, yesterday just because I was curious because I noticed that it had this game too for Pig Fanatics. I've never played it this way. I'm gonna leave those instructions on the screen there for a second. If you guys wanna read them, y'all can pause the video and y'all can see this second way of playing the game, but I've never played it this way before. I think maybe just because it might be a little too complicated for the kids or it's just simpler to do it this way, I don't know. But if you guys wanna check this out, I'm gonna link it up down in the description below. But more importantly, if you haven't gotten the game yet and you do wanna get it, go and get it, but save this video. Uh, click the little save button right below there and that way you can come back and ask me questions Questions if you have any questions about this particular game once you get it uh, in your hands. But if you guys want to see some of the other fun games that we play with our kids, I'm going to put those right there on the screen. You guys go click those videos. I'll see you on those videos if you want to see some of the other games that we play. Thank you dads for watching. That thumbs up is appreciated and dad out.